Next fight Carlos. is going to be very interesting. David Galley. Short notice. Short notice, four days notice versus, versus Michael Aiello out of and, Black and Lotus. Finally, Mike is actually going to get a fight after many, almost a Jarrell Wicks complex here. Would you say, Ben? It's been like four or five of them, hasn't it? Jarrell made it. It was a sixth I opponent. Think, I want to say he's maybe four. You know, and as you see in Aiello's corner, we got Harley Beekman and Mervyn Rodriguez, two of the OGs in New York MMA. Yep. These guys were pro before you could even compete in New York. They used to have to travel around the Northeast yep. and around the country to fight. Merv's an old, old, old man like us. Hi, hey, Harley ain't hard, far behind. Oh, He's yeah. been around forever. Yeah, he has been. Mervin Rodriguez actually sat in this booth with me before and he commentated did. a he fight. Did. He did. He did a great job. Is that Eminem and DMX I'm hearing? I can't hear it. It is. Go to sleep. I love oh, no, it. it isn't. It's D12. Yeah. I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. This dude looks like he was chiseled out of stone. How he made 140 pounds is absolutely beyond me. Michael Aiello finally stepping into the Cage Wars cage for the first time. Wow, he is very beefy for that weight class. That's what I'm saying, dude. He was supposed to fight at 145 pounds. They had to take another five from him to be able to make this fight happen. He actually won best abs yesterday. He was able to suck those five pounds out, man. I didn't think he was going to make it. He had no problem. He said he looked great when he got here. He was able to rehydrate. He blew up. He looks huge now compared to what he did yesterday. Yep. You know, you want to talk about guys who have had fights dropped, though. David Galley, you know, he's had plenty of fights dropped in the yep. last minute. I saw his mom in the elevator at the last show when he was still supposed to fight. She didn't even know his fight was pulled, neither did I. Well, so he had a fight initially on this card. He got, I think it, we had an injury, yep. and that got pulled, and then they're like, hey, want to step back in? He stepped back in short notice. You know, he's a young guy. I can say I've shared the mats in the gym with him. You know, he's very intense. He's, he's very well-rounded. He's very coachable. He's got a lot of drive, a lot of determination. And now that he's over at Brian Bury Jiu-Jitsu, you know, with Professor Bury, with Marcelo, with Harley, with all the guys and girls over there, it's really elevated him in his sport as well as his personal life. You know, and I'm really excited for him, and this is going to be a barn burner, I'm sure. He's always smiling, I think. I he loves to fight this kid. I remember we would spar, and this is when he was just starting, and he would want to go hard. I'm talking like he would, and I'm a super heavyweight heavyweight, and he wanted me to hit him and kick him hard. Beat me up, Will. Dirty oh, man, he's just one of these guys who loves it. He lives it. There's and he's real young. There, yeah. I got to meet his father earlier today. What a great family he's got. A lot of great people behind him to support him. And like you said, you mentioned Brian Beery's Jiu-Jitsu Academy. A lot of great people in there. Very supportive school. Yep, James Carroll, Harley Locklear. James Carroll actually in the corner this time. And that's a guy who, like, if you're going to have to cut a lot of weight, James Carroll is a mastermind at cutting weight. Side note. Two guys named Harley in MMA. What do you mean? Oh, Harley Beekman, Harley Locklear, you're yeah. right. There he is, dirty Observation, Dave observation. <laughs> I love the that's, Adirondack that's fight. I right figured that's something Ben would pull out of his hat, but. What? Two Harleys in MMA in the same family cage work. Do we have like a, a way to tell them apart, I guess? Yes, like, yes, we have a way. All yeah. right, though, that is fine, man. Not all black people look the same, Ben. Stop being a racist. That's, yo, don't put me on cancer culture. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It is into our catchweight 140-pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 141 pounds. Representing Black Lotus out of Amsterdam, New York, by way of Frankfurt, New York, Michael the Animal Yellow. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday 141 pounds. Representing Brian Bury, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out of Waterfleet, New York, David Galley. And they really do look like two and different the weight man classes. In charge of the action when the door closes, Mr. Nels Larson. Nels is back in business again. Nels threatened to crop dust us. We'd have to have uh, the EMTs come over here and save us. Good thing there, yeah. There's an ambulance here if he does, so we're safe, folks. Both these guys look very ready for what's about to happen. Michael Ayala just looks, got that scary look on his face. Right. He looks like he could be Mendy's sidekick in a Liam Neeson movie. 
they both play the bad guys. Yeah, they both be bad guys. Mendy's sitting behind us right now. <laughs> I turn around and sit there. We have a face-off coming up with Mendy and John Viewett later on as this fight is underway, and it seems like we're going to start getting a slugfest here. Is nice job by David, putting him, against, putting him on the ground, and pushing him up against the cage. Nice work by Aiello to not grab the fence there. We saw him yeah. reach for it. Thought better of it. It's so hard not to because it's a natural instinct to He's not want to fall. You know, Aiello's doing some good things, nice, though. Nice head. Grabbing the head to help himself up. Looking for the underhook, going back to plant the hand on the mat. David doing a nice job other. sucking those legs in. Yep. Now the only problem here is it's tough to work up your body, the body of your opponent because he's up against cage right now. So yep. sometimes people like to pull them away to work up. They were talking to each other there for a minute, Jay. I don't know if you could hear what they were saying or not. No. Last time I took my headset off to try to hear somebody say something, I got a mouthful of sweat, so I'm not playing that game twice. This is where Mike doesn't want to be overly. You know, and we talk about the cage. Strength. The cage actually cut Mike's elbow. Oh, yep. You know, it, this is not a sport for the meek. No. If you're not looking to get sliced and diced, maybe you go try golf. You know, and right now, Aiello's kind of stopping the advancement of the position, but he's not doing anything. So, he's, you know, the judges are seeing this. Maybe looking for a stand-up. At this point, I would agree with you, Ben. David senses it, though. And he's staying busy, he's working, which is going to yeah. force Mike to I maybe. I figured he'd want to pull Mike's arm in. I wouldn't look. But he's looking to hold both legs and pull, suck the hips in. He's got his leg crossed up underneath. Yeah, he got a nasty little cut on that right elbow. Yeah, yep. when he came down As here, he came I think down. he cut it right here. Mike doing a good job trying to push David's head away, but David keeping the pressure on. Mike doesn't even seem like he's phased by these body shots. They seem like they're landing no, he's, pretty he's hard. But David composed. working his way up the body. If you notice, he's pulling him away from the cage on the angle a little bit so he can work up the mount. Wow, nice job by Dave. He's got to watch that ground and pound to the face. He's going to give up his back. What happened? Oh, good job by Ello turning in. Peekaboo, gentlemen. You're right, right in front of the booth us. here. Yeah. David in full mount. He's got to watch the face. Oh, nice job by Aiello. Good job by David holding that mount. Wow. Get that, he's got to get that knee up through the middle. But and now, again, for the folks at home, if this was advanced rules, this would be a terrible position a very, right now. Very, very bad position. David I mean, it's Galley not, is doing really good at remembering just, that this is novice recovering oh, oh, the mount. Oh, oh. Hit him in the face. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Aiello trying to power his way out of David here. David looking for an arm bar. Oh. David, oh, good He's, job by Aiello. Very good. Nope. Michael Aiello triangle. has got some power. Arm bar. Ten seconds Ten left. Second. I think it'd be all right. Oh, yeah, he won't have the time. Starting to extend it here a little bit. Oh, he tapped, but wasn't in time. Oh, God. Is that it, or are he we in between rounds? He tapped. He Trapped. tapped. We saw it on the on the on the video. Oh. Let's see if we can get a replay. I don't believe we are able to. Play to it. No replay. That makes me sad. Me too. All right, well, gentlemen, I'll see you in a few minutes. That was tapping at the. Oh God, that's that's like the worst possible scenario. Good show of sportsmanship there with Dave and Mike. You know, that was really, that was one of those we things. Replay. All right, we got the replay. Here we go. He's looking for the arm the whole time. Here's about 10 seconds over. left. We don't know if he's got the time, but he's so deep with that elbow. Yeah, Look at that. Oh. Get there. oh, right there he taps. Oh, and it goes off. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it was like split second. Oh, man. And kudos to Nels Larson for seeing the tap. Yep. That's that uh, veteran status in the old refing. And Brian Beery is very happy. I can't say I blame him. No, that's, that was that was slick. Yep. You know, and, and David has excellent hands, but he, he really, really loves the ground. Yep. And that's one major evolution since he switched gyms from his original gym to Brian Bury Jiu-Jitsu. His ground game has just went through the roof. Mm -hmm. He almost relied too much on the hands before when oh, I was yeah, training yeah, with him. Yeah. And now his ground game is just evolving and getting better. Awareness is key. Yes. And they waited that he could keep that mount with Aiello spinning underneath him. That's a very hard, hard thing to master. It's all where your head and shoulders are. But in the middle of the action, folks at home don't realize, you know, the center of gravity changes, being able to stay on top like that. 
Position before submission. Hang up to Mike Ladies Falvo. and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these two amazing fighters? Referee Nels Larson calls a stop to the fight at two minutes, 59 seconds into round number one for your winner by way of armbar, David Galley.